Hi, this is Bob Johnson, the Bob Johnson of Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. And today I want to talk to you about the Panasonic Toughbook CF20. Panasonic CF20 take, took the place of the Panasonic Toughbook CF19, which I happen to have right here. Uh, if you can see, the CF19 and the CF20 are similar in size, basically, but that it's much thinner. If you take a look here, the CF19 is almost double the thickness. Uh, the CF20 is a little lighter than the CF19 as well. But also, the CF20 has, and I'm going to open it up for you guys, a 10-inch uh, screen, but it's widescreen, whereas the CF19 has a standard 10-inch screen. So you get a little higher resolution. It also has a higher resolution, uh, 1200 by 1900, I believe. Uh, it has a backlit chiclet keyboard. And here's the other cool thing about the Panasonic CF20 is the screen release. So you can pop this off and use it simply as a tablet. That kind of reminds me a little bit about the FZ G1 Toughpad. Uh, they had the same kind of idea. It wasn't quite as fluid is this, but that um, it looks like this. So with the tough pad, you had something like this, same size screen, same resolution, just not as uh, sleek and well, you know, it's not as molded, about the same thickness, but it is a slight bit heavier than the CF20. And the FCG one would pop off, and you can use it as a tablet. And if you take a look, this is the keyboard side. But if you take a look, the CF20 has similar looks. Take a look. This is the FZG1. This is the CF21 or CF20 tablet. Take a look. They both got the same size screen. They both have the same resolution. They both have webcams and I put them together, look at that, they're the same size. So the CF20, I think some of the big differences that really make a difference is the trackpad. The trackpad is wider and has um, more, more square inches than the CF19. The other nice thing is these buttons along the top, there's no longer buttons along the front like in the CF-19, if you take a look on the CF-19, they had these push buttons here to spin the screen or bring up the keyboard or whatever you might be doing, uh, change the brightness. With the CF-20, they've put it right on the tablet side of it so that you can even assign buttons to a special task if you wanted to. Uh, the CF-20, in my opinion, the CF-20, what is kind of the weakness here is Whatever memory you order with the CF20, so if you order it brand new with eight gigs of RAM, you're stuck with eight gigs of RAM. There's no upgrading the RAM to 16 gigs or whatever. It has to be sold, whatever it's sold with, that's what you're, you're stuck with. Uh, there is no upgrade slot. You can upgrade this unit to uh, broadband, a broadband card. It takes the Gobi 5000 Mini. Uh, so you're able to get that. There's also many other upgrades you can do, GPS, uh, fingerprint reader, you know, just like any other, just like the CF-19, you can have the same kind of upgrades. There's also a docking port on the bottom here so that you're able to dock it into uh, docking. Now the, 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 the downside is the CF-19 dock does not work with the CF-20. The docking port is in a different position, it just doesn't work you would have to replace whatever mount you have in your vehicle to use the CF-20. Those are, those are a couple of the weaknesses I'm thinking about. The FCG-1 tough pad, I think it was the progression to the CF-20. I think that's what they were moving towards. And with this keyboard, it kind of gives you, you know, they were trying, they were giving us the, um, the future of where Panasonic wanted to go. They also did the CF-33, which is similar to the CF-20. I don't have a 33 here today to show you, 
but um, they also did some of the same kind of things where the CF33 has a little bigger screen. But again, the CF33 that took the place of the 31 doesn't use the same docking stations. So if you do migrate to the CF-33, you would have to change your docking stations out in your vehicles as well. Uh, all these, these two units to run Windows 10 quite well, uh, the Tough Pad, the CF-20, even the CF-19, we find Windows 10 works really well on it. So the CF-19, uh, nice unit. Nice thing about the CF-19, we can upgrade it. The memory is upgradable. It has two upgrade slots, unlike the CF-20. I wish the CF-20 had upgrade slots, but, uh, oh, and one additional positive of the CF-20, not only does the base keyboard have a battery capability, but you can also put a battery, the same battery, in the tablet side. So you have two batteries whenever they're connected, giving you that extra battery life. The CF-19 doesn't have that capability. So that is one positive point on the CF-20. But the CF-19 is a workhorse. It's been around for years and years and years. It started out as a core duo CF-19, which was their first generation. What I'm holding here is the sixth generation uh, CF-19. And again, very upgradable, still a workhorse, still being sold in price right. <laughs> So the Toughpad FZG1 is a nice unit. I happen to have the keyboard attached to it here, where this was this is made by iKey. Panasonic, I guess, sourced out their, their uh, keyboard for this unit. Uh, things I like about this little tablet is the fact that they have this keyboard. It made the tablet more accessible and usable, I should say usable, in the fact that now you don't have to worry about typing in on a tablet keyboard. So you can use a full-fledged one. The um, ports on it are upgradable. You can put broadband in this unit. Um, you can upgrade the memory. You can upgrade the hard drive pretty easily on the, on the tough pad. Great unit, works fantastic. Run window, runs Windows 10 quite well. This one um, is the MK2. Uh, tough pad with the iKey keyboard. So I hope you enjoyed this comparison of the Panasonic Toughbook CF20, CF19, and that FZG1. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that bell and you'll be notified when we have more comparison videos. Hope to see you in that one.